Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Ask Brian Chong. Today, we will continue with our e-invoice teaching. Please like, comment, and share this video. Your sharing will help a lot of people. If this is your first time to watch my e-invoice sharing, please watch my previous e-invoice sharing first before you watch this one. Because to learn e-invoice, you need to do it step by step. Today, we're going to discuss about the flow of e-invoice. Currently, there are three LHJN e-invoice guide. The e-invoice guideline version 2, e-invoice specific guide version 1, and also e-invoice data catalog. You can check all this in LHDN portal. How e-invoice work? Last time, when a customer made purchase from us, we will invoice them and they make payment accordingly. But when we venture into e-invoice era, we cannot do this anymore. The scenario will be supplier, buyer, and also LHDN or IRB. There are two ways for you to prepare your e-invoice. The first option is free of charge. You can prepare your e-invoice through my invoice portal by LHDN. This is option A. You issue your invoice debit note, credit note, or refund note through IRB, my invoice portal, or option B, using your accounting software, there will be an API that integrates with IRB portal. You can issue your invoice debit note, credit note, or refund note through your accounting software. This will be your first step. IRB will return a validate e-invoice to you. There will be verification number, date, time, a specific number. Your e-invoice will have all this information plus the QR code that need to embed it into your invoice. This is step two. After getting the validate e-invoice, IRB will actually send a notification to you as a supplier and also to your buyer. Step three. Step four, you send the invoice to your customer. Your customer have the rights to reject the invoice and for yourself you can cancel the invoice step six a request for rejection notifications will send by irb to you as supplier and also your buyer as well same go to a cancellation by you irb will send notification to you and your customer if everything is validated and approved irb will store this data into the database you can get the reporting and also the validated e-invoice data through IRB portal dashboard. Remember, you or your customer only have 72 hours of time frame for the e-invoice to be cancelled or reject. There's no editing allowed after verified by LHDN or IRB. Any amendment after 72 hours or the e-invoice is validated, it needs to go through credit note or debit note. Debit note, credit note need to go through the full cycle again. This is the flow of a complete e-invoice cycle. Please share this video to all your friends, customers, or even your boss or your company account department because they need to know how this works as you need to prepare or change your company procedure or SOP to accommodate this flow. Remember to follow my channel for further e-invoice sharing. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.